Hey, it's nice to have you back here in this new video. Today, let's talk about the brand new camera model in the Kendall CoolCam product line. You know, the Kendall CoolCam is the consumer level product line of the company Kendall, who is very famous for their uh, hardcore technology in the 360 camera industry. Uh, but before we get started, here are some disclaimer. Uh, I didn't get my hands on the Kendall CoolCam Eagle. What you're gonna learn in this video all comes from the official page. I did spend a lot of time investigating every pixel on the official page. And I believe some of the features are surprisingly interesting. So if you want to know more about it, keep watching. Now I'm on the official web page of the Canal Cookham Eagle. I will put the website address Cookham Eagle Snap View Edit and share 3D content instantly. This camera was designed for creating and sharing 3D content. So it's not a 360 camera. So we can confirm that this Coolcam Eagle is not a 360 camera. Stereo 3D tech, shoot and view, headset free, magnetic design, 16 FPS and 847 pixel per inch, and with a touch screen. And the next one is an email address. You can sign up for 30% off. And you can sign with your Facebook or Google account. Limited super early bird from $269 save now. And if you calculate the 30% off and we use 269 uh, divide by 0 0.7, that is to say the retail price should be around $384. And if you take a closer look at the picture on the right, uh, you can see there are two colors, uh, space gray and the pure white. It looks like it has a detachable VR headset attachment a DJI Action 2 style of the magnetic clip. Just like the DJI Action 2, you should know that. Camera could work as a standalone camera, but there's also a, a add-on accessory that attach with the Coolcam Eagle magnetically uh, and has a built-in VR headset. But judging from the, the orientation of your headset, it looks like it has a kaleidoscope design. I mean, the, 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 the lines uh, travel and bend and into your eyes looks like uh, they have learned something from the, the twin-folded optic design. On the bottom, you can see a quarter-inch mount thread with reinforcement. Uh, the distance looks like in between the human eyes. And on the top right, there is an indication button and the Q button on the left of the camera. On the top, we can see uh, the speaker. It's a definite speaker. And the mode button, uh, if you're quite familiar with the Google AK, a long press, power on, tap it once again, to change into different photo modes, video mode, or, or even more. And this one is definitely a record button. And on the right, we can see there are two buttons. Uh, I think it's a tap button and uh, uh, up and down. Just like if you're quite familiar with the Oculus Quest, the only way you can interact with the software is the buttons on the headset. So maybe these two buttons is the interactively UR, U, user interface buttons that for the experience. You can see there are two microphone pickup holes left and right. So I assume that the Kendall Coolcam Eagle is capable to capture stereo audio with the left channel and the right channel. And there's a Coolcam logo in the middle of the headset with two lenses, the left and right, for the left eye and the right eye. Snap, view, edit and share. Record important pieces of your life. Take adventure through time and space. Uh, looks like it also have anchor point. You can put your wrist strap on the camera and you can enjoy your 3D content instantly after capture the content. And you can quick edit. Uh, looks like you can uh, connect with the app. Maybe you use your QuickCam app, you can uh, quick edit the clip and share with your social network. And you can even share with your friends. This one looks pretty interesting. Uh, looks like you can transfer your file. Uh, you can transfer your content from one Eagle unit to another Eagle unit. And in this picture, we can see the, the headset, uh, the color of the headset is red, and the, the color of the camera body is white or black. The headset, you can see a split screen in the middle, a divide into the, and you can see on the back, there is a multi-touch screen. The split screen uh, divides the multi-touch screen into two halves, the left and right eyes. Uh, what else we can see from this content? Next one is Coolcam Eagle, more than 3D. Coolcam Eagle is the very first integrated 
3D camera that allows you to re-experience every moment. Maybe you can enjoy your 3D content with naked eye. I, I don't know if it has a 3D screen on the back, or maybe you can put a headset with the left and right, and you can experience and relive your content, re-experience everything in 3D. The dual 1080 at 60 FPS. Uh, I mean, with, with headset, you should know that at least you should get 50 FPS for a smooth and fluent, for smooth and fluent playback. So if your camera could capture dual 180 at 60 FPS, uh, your playback will be a buttery smooth. And that is to say for a single lens, for single image sensor, the maximum resolution maybe is 1080. 1080, and there are two 1080 cameras. And altogether, they have captured equivalent 1080 at 120 FPS, 847 PPI. Uh, this is the, the screen, the quality of the screen is superb. You know, for our, uh, our phone, usually we got around a 400 PPI. 400 PPI is a quite good for our everyday use handheld, just like that. But if you want to put headset and uh, take a closer look at your content really close, this is where you need an uh, ultra high resolution display. On, on the video, you can see there is a, a button, a cute button with three stars. Uh, maybe you can have in-camera beauty effects and uh, more settings on the top right and the bottom right. 37 PPD, the pixel per degree. Uh, PPD stands for pixel per degree. So that is to say, uh, you can experience your uh, your content at every degree. I mean, every for every degree of the field of view, uh, the, the screen will provide you uh, 37 pixels. So 37 pixels PPD, we can calculate the equivalent field of view. Let's do that. Here you can see it's, it's a 2.54 touch screen with 847 pixel per inch. So if we multiply 2.54 with 847, this is more than 2,000 pixels diagonal on the screen. And we divide with the 37 pixel per degree, we will probably get equivalent field of view, diagonal field of view. So divide by 37, we got a 58 degrees diagonally. That is to say it's not a VR 180 camera. Looks like we got two prime lenses, left and right, to capture the, the world with 3D prime lenses. That's the same, ready for the best immersive experience. With a 3D viewer and up to 30 pixel per degree, Coolcam Eagle delivers a better imaging quality than other VR headset. The headset used the 2.5 uh, touch screen as the display of the, the VR headset. And the headset is an accessory without screen, or just with the, the mirrors, the lens, a protection case, and that's a magnetic design to attach with the Kukam Eagle. If that is true, I think the quality is pretty stunning. If we can see the, enjoy the content just like that in the picture. Like logging for keeping every moment fresh. Record important pieces of your life, take adventures through time and space. It, this camera is quite small, I think. It's even smaller than my, uh, the, the, my Google Pixel 5, you can see. This is how it looks like when I hold my Google Pixel camera. And this is how the model holds the Kukam Eagle. I think it looks like it's two thirds of my Google Pixel 5. Captivate the world with your story. 3D content can be shared directly between Cook and Eagle. Sharing is easier than ever. Yeah, and we have, we have already confirmed that you can transfer the data from one Eagle to another. And that's one Cook and Eagle snap will edit and share the 3D content instantly. So 16 FPS at 8 for 7 PPI touch screen. This, this picture is quite informative. Let's take a closer look at uh, it. has a removable battery. If you take a closer look at this one, uh, you can take out the battery, and that you say it probably has a removable SD card. I don't know if you have internal storage, but I should definitely see that. It might put the SD card and the battery right inside the body. And this one, you can see, judging from this picture, 
uh, it has removable battery and SD card slot on the, on the left of, of the camera. You see that? This tiny slot is for uh, the micro SD card and this door designed for the, uh, the, the battery, the Lithium battery. So what is the capacity of the Lithium battery? Uh, if the QuickTime Eagle is a little bit thicker than the iPhone 4, and, but it's a little bit smaller compared with the iPhone 4, it should have around 2,000 milliamp Lithium battery, removable, if everything works fine. And at least it should have a 1,800 milliamp. Yeah, actually I have already signed up for the QuickTime Eagle. I want to know more about the camera. Here you can see uh, I have just received my email. If I sign up on the website, I have successfully unlocked the launch invite for the Kuka Amigo's upcoming Kickstarter campaign. That is to say, the Kuka Amigo gonna start their Kickstarter campaign on Kickstarter.com, just like the first generation candle of Kuka, you know? When the, when the company first starts their consumer level product, they start on the Kickstarter, and I am one of the Kickstarter support for this company. The, the, the retail price will be around $384. It's not cheap, but considering it has a, a built-in headset, and uh, yeah, the camera is, is thicker than iPhone 4. You will pay a grand total of $269 once we ship. Get free shipping. And th this is a, great, a good bargain. Uh, I mean, the 30% the discount plus free shipping, it costs you only one dollar. Yeah, this is a good bug. And that is all what I have learned about the Candle Cook Amigo, uh, judging from the official activity page. And so I wonder if Candle company will send me the review test unit for the further video. So the Candle engineer, if you are watching this video, so definitely you can send me some private message. To sum up on my first impressions on the Candle Cook Amigo, uh, it is a 3D camera. It's not a VR 180, but it's a 3D camera with around 60 degree diagonally. And it has a built-in headset with a creatively magnetic design. It looks like it have learned a lot from the DJI Action 2. And the Canon QCam Eagle could capture the audio in the stereo format. The left channel and right channel, uh, have remo removable battery, removable SD card, uh, and uh, a quarter inch mouse right at the bottom. Share, and you can also share the content from one ego to another unit, and maybe you can also uh, make some rough edit on your Canon QuickCam app, on your iPhone, on your iOS. For some other friends, if they really want to enjoy your 3D content, the, the, the platform is really important. So currently, YouTube has the best support for the 3D content. So what fancy me most about the Canon QuickCam Ego is that this is a, definitely a hybrid camera. It combines the 3D vision technology. It's a 3D camera. At the same time, it could be doubled as your headset, considering it has an ultra high resolution 2.5 inch touchscreen on the back. This company should be probably targeted at the entry level user uh, who know nothing about 3D content, but they still want to enjoy the calling technology. So the Candle Quick Amigo, not just the hybrid camera, it provides you a whole solution from start to finish. So you can create, you can edit, and you can share, and you can upload, maybe you can upload it with the help of your phone. So I think it's definitely an interesting camera for the price point is not that cheap. But if you apply for the discount with only $1, you got 30% off plus free shipping. And that is a definitely a reasonable and a great bargain. Uh, if you are interested in this camera, you should definitely uh, follow the upcoming update of this company on the Kickstart. And I think the year 2022 is definitely very interesting and super exciting for me because just at the just beginning, we will receive some new updates. If you found this video helpful, please don't forget to sum up, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. So what do you think about Canal Cooking Amigo? You can leave down in the comments and let me know. Stay safe. See you next time. Bye.